What is up, YouTube? This is the very first video that I'm creating in a series aimed at beginners uh, doing cool things that they want to do on Photoshop and in the most non-destructive way possible. I've made all the mistakes so you don't have to. Uh, what we're going to do here is put superhero glowing eyes on anybody. In this case, I have Tony Starr who plays Homelander on The Boys on Amazon Prime Video. And let me jump right into this. We're starting off with a background locked layer. I'm going to double click on it and call this one OG from my original, okay? And just hit OK. And you'll notice there's the option to lock. I'm going to lock down by pressing this paintbrush to keep myself from painting on it. I also don't want to move it around, so I'm going to hit lock position. And from here, I'm going to group it. You're going to see me group a lot. So to do that, you're going to go to... Uh, layer and you're going to i know it's here oh, here it is uh, group layers okay and you can double click it or you can go to layer rename group so i'm going to do that and then you'll notice over here it lights up and asks you well what do you want to call it i'm going to call this original and i'm only doing this as good practice you don't have to do this but i recommend being organized in your scenes it's going to save you a lot of time and it's going to save you a lot of headache and in case you need to change, change something, you can always go back, okay? So I'm going to collapse that because we don't need it. Now I'm going to go to Layer, select New, collect, uh, I'm sorry, uh, make a new layer, okay? So just click that. Uh, what do you want to call it? We're going to call this one Laser Eyes White Base. You can call it whatever you want. You can just call it Laser Eyes. That's fine. I'm, I'm kind of OCD. All right, so what we have here is just an empty layer. So if I turn off original, there's nothing there, but we're gonna change that very soon. And what I would like for you to do is take your paintbrush and get a hard brush. Whenever you're painting with light, whether it be a lightning boat or you're creating glowing eyes, you want the base of the actual light is hot and it's intense and it should be white, okay? If you use a fuzzy soft brush, it's just not gonna look right. It's gonna look muddy and blurry and what you want is very sharp eyes. So I'm just painting in and I'm gonna leave kind of like the very edge of the iris alone. I just wanna get the base shape, okay? So that's what it's gonna look like. And now uh, what I have here is a raster group. I don't wanna paint it and I don't wanna mess it up. So I'm gonna turn it into a smart object. And to do that, you're gonna go to layer, smart objects, convert to smart objects. All right, so now you'll notice I have a little hard drive disk thing there, okay? Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a mask on top of it. I'm gonna show you the reason why masks are so important and so magical. I'll go to layer mask from the layer menu and say reveal all, okay? So it gives you this white square and it doesn't do anything right now, but I wanna show you something really cool. If I go, I'm gonna zoom in here. I'm gonna paint with black. Black hides things away, okay? And white will reveal it. So if you wanted to, you wanna do eyes like that, you could. Uh, Homelander doesn't have those kind of eyes when he does lasers, so I'm going to leave it alone and actually I'm going to paint it back. Even if I paint over it and it gets sloppy, it doesn't matter. It's only revealing the object, okay? So I'm going to put this into a group. I'm going to go to uh, Layer, Group Layers. What, you can double-click the group to name it, and I'm going to call this one Laser Eyes Group. And I'm doing this because I'm going to have a lot of different things in here, okay? So I'm also going to group the base. So I'll go to Layer, uh, Group Layers. I'm going to call this Base Laser Eyes. You don't have to do that. Yeah, well, what did I just do? I just I messed it up because I can't type. All right. Base Laser Eyes. Okay, so we can leave that alone for right now. Next thing, the cool thing about smart objects is I can throw on as many special effects as I want and it's not gonna mess up the original shape. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna go to layer, uh, and it should be layer styles. Here is layer, layer styles, I'm tongue tied. And go to an outer glow, uh, which is on here somewhere here, outer glow. Okay, so uh, I already have the color in there, but you can make it whatever color you want. So if you want blue glowing eyes, you could do that. So if I turn down the size, you can see here, I got some kind of bluish glowing eyes. Um, I'm going to give him red glowing eyes, okay? <clears throat> and if you change, change spread, you can spread the actual color. Um, that's not so great. I'm going to actually, we want a little bit softer of a glow. 
So I'm going to put my range. You can change the range as well, and it does something kind of similar to spread. But spread and range kind of work together. So if you're working with a very high-resolution image, you might need to increase the spread. I'm going to put the spread to zero. I'm going to put the range to 100%. And I'm going to change the size just to get the right amount of glow at the edges there. That looks good to me. This is all subjective, so it's going to change depending on your image, okay? So you can see right now, it's already looking pretty good, right? <clears throat> but what we have here, we need a little bit of more dramaticness, right? So what we want to do is, on top of my original group, I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. It's going to kind of add some dramaticness onto this. So I'll go to uh, a new adjustment layer. That's the one. And I'll use exposure. You can use uh, curves and levels if that works better for you. I'll just use exposure for in this case. And what do you want to call it? I'm going to call this one darkening. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to slide the gamma down just to kind of give some darkness. I like darkness. Turn down the exposure just a tad because it's going to affect your whites when you start reducing the exposure. I just want to give it a little bit of effect. And I'm, guess what? I'm going to group this too. So you go to layer, group, layer. I can never forget to remember this. Okay, group layer. All right, and you got to name it. I'm going to call it ADJ for adjustment. Right click on that group. You can make it a color by doing that. You know, it's the bottom here. I can make it yellow if I want to. I'll just make it red. And that tells me that that's a, a, something that's going to affect your original group down there, right? You can turn it on or off. But notice when I have it on, you kind of get that real spooky sort of um, you know, glowing eyes emphasis, right? But uh, I know what you're thinking. Hey, you know what? This could use more glow. No problem. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then I'm going to go back and make some other fine adjustments. We're basically done at this point, but you can do more. And what I suggest for you is to push your image. You can always go further. Well, I'm introducing you to concepts. You can take these concepts a lot further. And that's going to be the difference between somebody who's just starting out and someone that's super advanced, OK? So we'll go back to the mask. And here's the magic of the mask. Let me show you this. I'm just so excited about this. I'm going to take a one pixel brush. And I'm going to set it to black to kind of hide things down, right? Now notice I'm just, I'm just, there's no science to this. I'm just speckling it. And I'm going to leave it a little bit more hot at the center. Okay. And if you need to uh, add some more, just switch back to white. You can do that by pressing X on your keyboard. All right. That looks okay. So I'm going to switch back to black by pressing X on my keyboard. And Homelander does have a texture to his laser eyes. It's not just a white circle. There's like this heat that comes out from the center pupil, and it emanates. You know, that's not too bad, okay? Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this a little bit stronger by duplicating my current smart object. So go to Layer, Duplicate Layer. And it's going to ask you what to call this one. I'm going to call this one Extra Glow. All right, so that's OK. That's OK. Now, the second smart, smart object has its own controls. This is the benefit of having a smart object. So I'm going to double click on that outer glow. And I'm going to actually increase the spread a little bit. And then I'm going to increase the size. And you'll notice here, this is all dependent on what you're trying to get out of your image, OK? So I got even more glow. Increase it. Uh, that looks OK. Uh, I know what you're thinking. Not good enough, right? What about those Michael Bay flares that he has coming out the sides? All right, Smarty. You want to know how to do that? OK, no problem. So I'm going to go to Layer. I'm going to duplicate again. Duplicate Layer. And we'll call this one Flare. All right, and I'm actually going to put it in its own group. So these, these right here, I'm going to treat them as my base. And I just did a shortcut key. You know, how you should at this point you should know how to group things. All right, click on your smart object. You can click on your mask or your smart object. I'll click on the uh, smart object and go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. Whoa. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> so. Uh, that's not what I want. So I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to go back and turn this off or delete it. Actually, I may end up deleting it. All right, go back to your base. And we're going to go back to the very first one. And we're going to duplicate that one because it doesn't have so much glow around it. So go to Layer, 
uh, duplicate layer. All right, what do you want to call this one? Flare. And I'm going to hit Control or Command bracket to move it up, move it on top of my base. Okay, with that selected, I'm going to go to Layer, uh, Group, Group, Group Layers. All right, and I'm going to double click and rename it, call this one Flare. All right, let's highlight your smart object, go to Filter, and go to Blur, Motion Blur. Okay, that looks better. So notice here, he kind of has the flares. If you increase the blur distance, it's going to spread it out, but your effect is not quite so dramatic. Okay, you zoom out here, and look, he's got the flares now on his eyes. If you want to make it more dramatic, you can duplicate again, and then, since you have a separate control on your smart object, let's increase the distance, the blur distance. Okay, you can turn off the adjustment layer, and it still works, it just looks cooler with the darkness, so you get the emphasis on the eyes. And that's it. <clears throat> we were actually done a while ago. The only difference here now is we've added a few extra touches, like the flares, to kind of give it the dramaticness. So the cool thing, if you're organized in your group, you can turn off the adjustments. You can turn off the laser eyes. You can turn off the adjustments. And there we are. We're back at the beginning. So you can also adjust your adjustments without touching the original image. So if I want to make it even darker, I could do that. And turn back on my laser eyes group. Yeah, I can do that. But in this case, I just want to keep it just a little bit of darkness, right? And not go too crazy with it. And there you go. You're done. If you found this video helpful, don't forget, I'm just starting out. Hit like, subscribe, tell your friends. There's going to be a lot more cool stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, guys, take care.